I wanted to pick the best background I could in the shop for to make this video and uh, that's because we live in the greatest country ever and if you don't think so then click off the video. Welcome back to the ECD Motorsports YouTube channel. Uh, it's been a while, my fault. Had some long weekends and because of the long weekend, last week was just kind of catching up on everything. Um, but I'm working on a different schedule for videos instead of my you know nine ten minute videos that I try to do twice a week. I'm gonna do my nineteen to twenty minute videos that is just gonna be once a week every Monday. It'll be a schedule. It'll be at a certain time, five six o'clock. So that way, you know, when you guys get out of work and you're just hanging out, you can click in. It's easy. But this video, I did want to talk about. Uh, I did want to talk about a few things, what we got going on, what's coming up, so that way, you know, you guys know that even if you subscribe and you want to tune in weekly, there's going to be new stuff. It's not going to be the same old stuff. Um, with me doing these for about a week, uh, you know, taking my time from filming Monday to Saturday so I can edit Sunday and have it up Monday, between Monday and Saturday, it will be anything from our street cars, race cars, dirt bikes, trail riding. Um, all the stuff that we do around our, our little house, garage, our little team area here. And uh, the first thing I did want to talk about is that I have my book because even at 21 I don't remember everything. So, not this video, but next week um, you're going to see... Dad and I, we're going to build some trophies for a dyno day that we have coming up here up at m &K Automotive out in uh, Brewerton area, uh, right across from the Speedway out there. And they have some trophies that uh, they wanted us to build. Dad and I like to do this kind of stuff because we love to support these small events. The Rowdy Racing guys, they're great guys. And... Um, anything from sponsoring their 550, 650 index series to like this. They're putting on this dyno day and uh, we're going to build some trophies for it. So, you know, you're going to see us building trophies for it. I'll probably even film a little bit of the dyno day. Um, so that's going to be in next week's video. Along with that, you'll see some Fairmont stuff, some dirt bike stuff. I'm going to try to just throw everything that we normally do in here, make this more entertaining for you guys. Uh, so that's, that's my talk about the trophies and events. Fairmont is maybe a week or two away from being done. I would say two weeks, but that's coming to an end. Um, and we'll start doing some street car stuff with that, having fun. Someone just tried to pull out in front of someone. Um, and with the Fairmont being done... That kind of leads me into the next uh, part of this video. And uh, I'm going to take you guys off of the tripod and we'll do a quick walk around. All right, so we're off the tripod. Um, we're going to do a quick walk around. Not much has changed, obviously, because I've been busy a little bit, a few weeks. But still wiring, still sorting, still figuring it out. Not much has changed, not much has gone on. But I do have a dash coming for it, so that's no. Do have a battery cutoff switch coming too, so that'll happen this week. Um, I don't know if the dash is coming this week, maybe next week, but regardless, there's things going on. But I did want to actually ask you guys something so you know the few of you can actually be involved in this decision. We have a Fairmont right there, Ford, uh, Ford small block 306, uh, 76 millimeter turbo, um, just a true cruiser street car, went 1102 at 120 on its last pass at Esta. Now, as you know, if you watched the last video, I picked up a 5.3 LS. And been talking to some people, and it's going to be going to the uh, 
machine shop in the next oh probably month or so and you know when we uh, what we kind of planned on for it was uh it's a similar setup to what he's had in the past the guy that's doing it and uh he made 1100 wheel and so i'm doing that same exact setup and so you know we can guesstimate whatever uh whatever i put it in it's going to make around 1100 wheel on e85 single turbo very very common setup nothing spectacular but i have two vehicles that i can put it in both are going to need quite a bit of fab work um, both i'm going to put an a50 cert uh, chrome alley cage in. i'll take weld that myself i'll do the suspension stuff myself and i'll take you guys along with that and uh We'll do a full little build on it, and uh, I'll show you guys a few things, and I'm sure Dad will show you guys a few things, and we all learn together. It's going to be fun. But we got the choice of the Fairmount, which is, you know, stock suspension, strut front end, factory four-link, four-door, one, two, three, four, that we can put it in. Um, obviously doesn't have, it has that bar, but I will cut it out, put a cage in it. Or I can leave that thing as it is, get it through the season, put it away for storage and, uh, don't think about it and just have a street car ready for, you know, next season. So we can start playing around with it and having fun with it. Or I can put the LS in it over the winter and thrash on it and do all the cool stuff to it. So that's option one. We can put the LS in the Fairmont, or we could leave the Fairmont completely alone, and we can put the LS in the S10. So I'm gonna cut this video here. We're gonna go walk around the S10, and then uh, that's probably gonna be the end of the video. Pretty short one, but I did just wanna explain what was going on with my new schedule as far as videos and things like that. But option one, Ford Fairmont gets the LS. Or we leave it alone, don't touch it, and just make small increments to make it better for just the car that it is. You know, maybe actually don't cancel the Terminator and maybe buy one, maybe buy one over the winter for it and uh, put it in. If Holly can actually get stuff to me on time, or if I'm still gonna be waiting for months on end, who knows at that point. But things like that. So obviously, you can always make it better, but. Is this something that I should just leave alone, don't touch? Uh, once it's running, it's running, and move on to something else? Or should it be, you know, once it's running, take it all apart, put it back together, even better? So that's option one. LS can go in the Fairmont. We're here in our sweat lodge. It's a little warm. It's a lot of warm outside. Um, but that doesn't matter. We're here trying to figure out what are we putting this in? It don't look like much, but it'll be capable of 1100 wheel. And that's pretty impressive to me. I've never had anything like that. But we got our S10 here, which is a ladder bar. Made, a, made it a ladder bar truck. Uh, can't see it because it's covered by everything. There is a Ford 88 in there already. Uh, yes, the floor is cut out, but that's because I had plans on doing a pretty radical cage in here. Um, I want to say it's a 26.3 or something like that. Um, pretty much it was a 799 cert. And uh, probably won't reach that this time around. Probably going to stick with an 850 cert. It's simple, clean, easy. But it'll be all uh, chrome alley. It'll be nice and light. But come on, it's, a, it's an S10. I love these things. These are kind of like my little, these are my favorite vehicles. These and, uh, these and anything old and weird are my favorite. So where, where do we stand? Where should I start? Because the nice part about the S10 is I can start the legitimately the day after the Fairmont is running, driving. Um, the problem with the Fairmont is I got to wait till it's, till the season's over and, uh, 
I'm content enough driving it where I'm like, okay, I, I'll pull it all back apart. Um, like I said with this, I can start as soon as the Fermat is pretty road legal. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But those are our two options. Both of them are going to be very streetable cars. Both would go on drag week or something like that because that's kind of my, uh, that's what I'm building them for. I'm building them for a pretty radical street car. Um, making that power will be probably, probably run right in the 850 index classes at um, drag week or Rocky Mountain Race Week or whatever they call them now. Um, you know, the drag weeks, the drag weekends, uh, the drag lunch breaks. There's a whole bunch of names for them. They're doing a bunch of them. It's becoming quite popular. So we got our choices, S10 or Fermat. What should I get going on? I'm sure, uh, I'm sure it's gonna be pretty split down the middle. But uh, yeah, that's it, it's hot. I'm getting out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next Monday.